atmosphere where people can blame each other. We are going to tolerate that. I want to tell them that this government will never tolerate uh, such things because we know that uh, that is inimical and the determined people are very allergic uh, to such to such issues. So they are, they are even like, and they should thank the president, they should thank this government because this government is very tolerant to other views, very tolerant, but they, we should, they should not take us for granted because we believe that the law should be enforced the latter. What they are suggesting, what they are suggesting, that is very criminal. It is criminal in a sense that someone is trying to incite people to start naming each other. So we don't want to go very far in this issue, but the, the best we can advise is that the, they should know what to say, where to say it. Because at the end of the day, they should never, never again try to blame anybody if anything happens to them, especially that if the law enforces bounces on them, they will start again complaining. And yet they are the ones that they are the ones that now they are bringing this confusion. So for me, that was just a joke. In November we say they can say anything. They can say anything, but they should be mindful of what they are saying. Because this country now will restore law and order, will not entertain such antics from people like Bowman and Sambo. Because you know, we are, Bowman and Sambo were aware, even, even before the election, I heard him at the of the where he said, it is not possible to relinquish power, to give power to the UPA. That's what they said. Now ask them, where is the power now? Where is the power now? The same people that they said they will not give power to. They are the same people now that are in office. So for me, if someone says uh, there will be no elections without me, just relate him to what he said in 2021, that the power will never be given to UPF. Today, the power will be given to UPF. So even the, the, the Kabush people and the Pacha people, they will not take these two individuals seriously because we've tested them before. Even when they say that there will be no election, let's see if those people will be not on the ballot, if elections will not take place. Then you and me will come and chat again and see who is, who, who is saying what and who is not saying what. So those are jokers. We are now used to their jokes. Whether they like it or not, elections will be there because Zambia is more than Trump. Zambia is also bigger than Malani. Yeah? These are people that are so broke this time around. Even if some people are even saying, no, Bonanza, what? If he stands, what? For us, we've been ready for anyone, <laughs> including Edgar Rungu. If Edgar Rungu wants, let him come and stand in, in Kwacha to wallop him. <laughs> yeah? if, if you had the wrong one to come and stand in in, in Kabush, they, they, so for us we've been ready. If they want, they, they, they can go even to America or any other country and bring people to come and stand in this two constituencies. We work for them because we are very serious with what we, we promised our Zambian people and we are delivering. Any other last word, sir? My last word is that those that want to be corrupted, corruption is a criminal offense. They should never think of being corrupted because the law may visit such individuals. So I think I want to say that those that are that at the thought of standing, they knew why they, they wanted to stand. What has changed in these few days for them to, to withdraw? What has changed? Obviously, each and every individual will be able to say, what is happening? Maybe these people are just sponsored. So they need to be careful because we have all the information of the issues that they want to bring, that they want to bring forward. So we know everything. So the way that's the same way they should finish this race. Why should you go into a race and yet you know that you don't have the capacity? Why should you be joking with the Kwacha people or Kabush people? And I think it's high time that the people now, they should stop looking at the people that are trying to joke with issues. Because politics, some people say, some people say it's a game. It's not a game. Ask President H.H. He knows that politics is not a game. Umuntu Lolo Shavant Pamala is not a joker because he's able to look at Mala Genshi. So for those that have been thinking that politics is a, is, a, is a game of jokers, they should stop. So if we have jokers again who are the uh, put up their nominations forward and they want to withdraw, we don't want such jokers in this country. And I would, I would suggest that the law should be visit them by interrogating them why they have, they, have, they have done that. Yes, in a democracy, 
people will be able to say, I can do this, I can do that. But I think the timing, the timing, the timing may also uh, will also be not on their side because there are also very big rumors that if some people they say that Patriotic Plant want to bribe uh, such characters. So if that happens, we'll be able to conclude that uh, these have been corrupted. Please. Zambian people, even those that had stood, those that, whose nominations were, were accepted by ECZ, let us just go into this race. Because we are very, very ready. You know, Mr. Nkandu is supposed to be in Lusaka doing national duties. Now we are here in, in Kwacha for this by election. So we don't want people that would again take us backward. Instead of looking at national issues, we are looking at the, at the, at the, at the Kawisha news and, and the culture constituents. People should be very serious. I'm sure the Zambian people have seen how serious this government is. And they don't want any joker uh, who can now draw us back to where we're not supposed to be.